Hey, what's up guys? It's Aaron with Two Minute Tech, where I bring you all the tips, tricks, news, reviews, and how-tos fast. And today, we're gonna take a deep dive into the autofocus modes on your new Canon Rebel SL2. Now, before we go through the autofocus modes on your Canon Rebel SL2, I do have a playlist with a ton of SL2 videos in it, linked up above. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more like it, definitely hit subscribe as well as hitting that bell icon so you can get notifications when new videos post. And while you're at it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video, thumbs down if you don't, whatever, just let me know what you think down in the comments below. The Canon Rebel SL2 or 200D for you folks outside of the United States is a fantastic entry level DSLR camera. In fact, the SL2 is my recommendation for you if you're going to be starting a YouTube channel or if you're looking maybe to even start something like Instagram TV or just getting into basic DSLR photography. The SL2 does have three main autofocus modes. The first of which is that dual pixel autofocus, which Canon is renowned for. This is a fantastic autofocus system for you if you're going to have your face on camera, be it for shots like this, or if you're gonna be doing run and gun style vlogging, you definitely wanna check out the camera for the dual pixel autofocus. This mode on the camera is actually called face tracking plus mode. So to select this mode, you're gonna to wanna to hit the Q on the screen and then go into autofocus mode. In the autofocus menu, it's the one that says AF and has a smiley face on it. Now, once you've selected this mode, it's gonna lock on to any human faces that are in the scene and make sure that it keeps that in focus. So as I get closer to the camera, it's gonna keep me in focus. And as I move farther and farther away, it's gonna continue continue to track my face and keep it in focus. The next autofocus mode is called Smooth Zone. Now, this is really perfect for if you just want to focus on an area of a scene. Once you have Smooth Zone autofocus selected, you can actually tap on your screen to something that's kind of farther in the background and then tap on something that's closer in the foreground and it's going to smoothly focus between the two subjects. The important thing to remember when you're using autofocus modes is the Servo AF or Servo Autofocus mode on your screen. When Servo AF is turned on, you can use Use your screen to tap to switch between two depths of field for focus. If Servo AF is off, it's going to hold focus on whatever depth of field you were last focused on. The last autofocus mode on your Canon Rebel SL2 or 200D is Live One Point Autofocus. Live One Point Autofocus is going to give you a much smaller area for your camera to focus on. This is a really great focus mode for you if you have a lot of subjects at varying depths within your shot. The last focus mode on your Canon Rebel SL2 isn't an autofocus mode, it's actually manual focus. Now this may seem like a really obvious focus mode, however, if you use manual focus, there are some really cool features for you to be aware of with your camera. To use manual focus, just turn off the autofocus switch on your lens, and then you're gonna twist the ring on your lens to be able to bring your subject into focus. One of the things that I really love about this camera in manual focus mode is that you can use the digital zoom on the camera to zoom in even closer to make sure Sure that your focus is as sharp as possible. So to do this, just make sure that you have your subject somewhat in focus using manual focus mode, then press the plus button behind the camera near the off and on switch. What that will do is zoom in slightly on your subject so you can make sure that it's in focus. Set up that focus to make sure that it looks pretty good, and then tap the plus sign one more time to zoom in even further. Once you're in this mode on the screen, there's up, down, left, and right arrows so you can kind of navigate around your closer focus mode to make sure the point of what you're focusing on is is gonna be as sharp as possible. Once you have your subject in focus from there, just press the plus button one more time to go back into your normal shooting mode. For me personally, I use the face tracking mode all the time whenever my face is on camera, and then I use the one point live autofocus for whenever I'm doing really tight product shots. If I'm doing some B-roll shots where I wanna move my camera and bring that subject into focus, I'll use my manual focus mode. So overall, those are the three autofocus modes on your Canon Rebel SL2, as well as how you can use your manual focus mode to pull off some really cool effects. Thanks for watching.